everyone, my name is Udita Kuntia. I'm from class 4 Stewart School, Bhuvanesha. And today, I'm going to tell you a very beautiful story. And what is that story name? That story name is Gek. Gek plays a joke. So, Gek is the name of a boy. So, this is a story from a famous book, children's book. That name is Chuck and Gek. So, Chuck and Gek are two brothers who live in Moscow. Moscow in Russia. And the two boys' father, they, he worked in uh, he worked in Siberia, Siberia. So the the two boys lived with their mother. And one day, and one once, and one year on a new on New Year Day, on a New Year Day, they went to visit their father. The, uh, the two boys went to visit their father with their mother. So then when the went reached there, they came to know that their father had gone away for 10 days. So now the only person who were around them, with them, who were with them were, uh, was one, was an, uh, was an uh, watchman, was one watchman and his dog. His dog name was Fearless. I mean, not his. He was not fearless. His dog's name was fearless because do, that dog he had that was a watchman's dog. It was very alert, clever. It could sniff and tell who is the person, and he can try. Yeah, and they can find out. So now, one day, now uh, on the fourth day, mother. So mother uh, said that mother had to chop firewood herself because uh, they had already eaten a hare. A hare. They had already eaten a hare long ago. And the magpies. Magpies are birds, and they have already the magpies have already cleaned the bones too. So and then they also and also the buns were finished long ago, and the dinner that they had. That day was only porridge and onions uh, and nothing else. Bail buns were finished and the only thing they had now was porridge and some and a few onions. So every day for dinner they had porridge and the onions, raw onions. So now mother had found some flour and then she had baked some biscuits, a few biscuits for them. So then on the fourth day, mother had to go and chop firewood herself because the fire because they cannot make fire now as the wood has finished. So mother so Gek felt when they were ready to go, Gek, Gek and Chuck are brothers. So Gek felt low. So mother wondered if he had temperature. So she ordered him to stay inside. And she uh, then mother dressed Chuck, the C H U K Chuck. His name is Chuck. His brother's name is Chuck. So mother dressed Chuck, and then she fetched some pails. Pails means buckets. She fetched some pails, and then they went on their little sleigh up to the spring to get some water and some fire. There was a few tree. There was a small forest. We have just uh, near the, the spring. So they will get some water too and then they can get some fire. So they went and then meanwhile Gek waited and waited and waited and waited. But they did not return. Uh, but they did not return. So he felt very lonely. And why they took so much time you know. Because mother and Chuck. When they were coming back, after some time they fetched the cut the fire. They took the, they had already fetched the firewood and then they had also what they also had they took some water from the spring and they were coming down just on the way, coming down halfway to the home. Their sleigh overturned and the firewood was well, so the fire sank in the snow. There was very much snow there. At that time, there was so much snow. So the fire just went inside the snow. Each of the fire. And the water, they just 
overturned and it was spilled out on the road. So they had to go once again to fetch them. So Gek was meanwhile at home. And then, and then what happened, you know? Then what happened that Gek had what, what, Gek felt very lonely. What would he do now? The Gek and Chuck, Gek and Chuck, Gek, well, sorry, Gek and Chuck, I'm telling. Mother and Chuck were now uh, coming home. And then when mother came home, when mother came home, when mother came home, she saw that Gek was nowhere to be found. That Gek was nowhere to be found. So she began to search for him. And she searched and searched and searched and searched. But she couldn't find Gek. So she searched everywhere she could uh, find. In the storehouse and in the storehouse and everywhere she searched each and every place but Gek was nowhere to be found then their mother began to search on the road not a soul was seen in the road so now what happened do you know then the watchman came why the watchman came because mother uh, fired, mother had a gun. Mother always had a gun. And she fired, the, first she fired one bullet. Then she fired another bullet. Then she fired another bullet. The watchman came. And then a shrill voice came. A shrill voice came from the uh, watchman's hut. From their house. And it was struck. Because he thought that uh, the wolves had attacked his mother. So, and now, what would his mother do? So he was just crying. And then, what happened? So, Gek, so Gek, and Gek was now, Gek was now, where was Gek? They found and searched and searched and then the watchman called fearless his dog okay so that fearless fearless came and she began searching so then do you know what happened then uh, then they began searching and then the dog sniffed and sniffed and sniffed and at last it went and well, and it stopped near a trunk and it stopped near a trunk. So everyone opened the trunk. Mother, Chuck and the watchman opened the trunk. And between the sheep, uh, between the sheep skins, sheep skins means uh, the sheep's skins with wool. Still att attached with wool. Uh, were used for coats. Uh, warm coats that are weird in winter. And then... He was there. There were sheepskins and rags, and Jake was and Jake was this, uh, lay asleep, uh, lay asleep uh, in in between them. So mother just when Jake when Gek woke up, woke up, he just saw that what fuss is this? His mother was just crying and kissing his head. What had he done? And then. Uh, then he came to knew that everyone had been searching for him. Then he told that when you had gone, you two had gone. He was telling, he was telling to mother that when you and Chuck had gone away, I felt very lonely and thought I'd play a practical joke on you. Practical joke means uh, to play a joke on you to make it uh, to make you look foolish. So I thought I would play a practical joke on you. And when you come home, I will just howl like the wolves. And I will give you a scare in the life. So now mother and mother just thanked the watchman and his dog. And then the watchman and his dog went away. And Gek 
got a good scolding from his mother. So that evening mother would not let Gek out of her sight. So that was the story Gek plays a joke. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.